ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਨਾਰਥ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਦਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਹਾਂ ਗੁਰਿੰਦਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਖਬਰਾਂ ਦੀ ਸ਼ੁਰੂਆਤ ਕਰ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਸੁਰਖੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਸ਼ਟਡਾਊਨ ਤੋਂ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰ ਫਿਰ ਬਚਿਆ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਸ਼ਟਡਾਊਨ ਨੂੰ ਟਾਲਣ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਅਮਰੀਕੀ ਸੈਨੇਟ ਨੇ 1.2 ਟ੍ਰਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਾਲਰ ਦੇ ਪੈਕੇਜ ਵਾਲੇ ਬਿੱਲ ਨੂੰ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਮਨਜ਼ੂਰੀ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਨੇ ਮਾਸਕੋ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋਇਆ ਤਬਾਦੀ ਹਮਲੇ ਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਡਰਾਉਣ ਕਿਹਾ ਇਸ ਹਮਲੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਯੂਕਰੇਨ ਦੀ ਸ਼ਮੂਲੀਅਤ ਦੇ ਕੋਈ ਸੰਕੇਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਦੇ ਟੈਕਸਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਭਿਆਨਕ ਸੜਕ ਹਾਦਸਾ 40 ਤੋਂ ਵੱਧ ਵਿਦਿਆਰਥੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਭਰੀ ਸਕੂਲ ਬੱਸ ਹੋਈ ਹਾਦਸਾ ਗ੍ਰਸਤ ਦੋ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੀ ਮੌਕੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਹੋਈ ਮੌਤ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਫਾਸਟਰ ਫੰਡ ਦੁਆਰਾ ਹੈਮਿਲਟਨ ਨੂੰ 17.5 ਮਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਾਲਰ ਦਾ ਫੰਡ ਅਲਾਟ ਕਰੇਗੀ ਓਨਟਾਰੀਓ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਪ੍ਰੀਮੀਅਰ ਡਕ ਫੋਰ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਐਲਾਨ ਤੇ ਹੁਣ ਖਬਰਾਂ ਵਿਸਥਾਰ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਅਮਰੀਕੀ ਸੈਨੇਟ ਨੇ ਸ਼ਟਡਾਊਨ ਨੂੰ ਟਾਲਣ ਦੇ ਲਈ 1.2 ਟ੍ਰਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਾਲਰ ਦੇ ਪੈਕੇਜ ਵਾਲੇ ਬਿੱਲ ਨੂੰ ਮਨਜ਼ੂਰੀ ਦੇ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਹੈ ਹੁਣ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਰਾਸ਼ਟਰਪਤੀ ਜੋ ਬਾਈਡਨ ਨੂੰ ਦਸਤਖਤ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਭੇਜਿਆ ਜਾਵੇਗਾ ਇਸ ਦੌਰਾਨ ਇਸ ਬਿੱਲ ਨੂੰ 24 ਦੇ ਮੁਕਾਬਲੇ 74 ਵੋਟਾਂ ਪਈਆਂ ਵਾਈਟ ਹਾਊਸ ਨੇ ਇਸ ਸਬੰਧੀ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਸਾਂਝੀ ਕਰਦਿਆਂ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਸੰਗੀ ਫੰਡਿੰਗ ਜ਼ਿੰਮੇਵਾਰੀਆਂ ਰੋਜ਼ਾਨਾ ਆਧਾਰ ਉਤੇ ਖਰਚ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਜਾਂਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਟਰੈਕ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਜਾਂਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਏਜੰਸੀਆਂ ਬੰਦ ਨਹੀਂ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਜਾਣਗੀਆਂ ਤੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਕੰਮਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਮ ਵਾਂਗ ਜਾਰੀ ਰੱਖ ਸਕਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਫਿਲਹਾਲ ਕੁਝ ਸਮੇਂ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਸ਼ਟਡਾਊਨ ਟਲ ਚੁੱਕਿਆ ਹੈ ਟਾਈਮ ਟੂ ਪ੍ਰੀਵੈਂਟ ਅ ਪਾਰਸ਼ਲ ਸ਼ਟਡਾਊਨ ਯੂ نو ਦ ਹਾਊਸ ਪਾਸ ਦ ਫੰਡਿੰਗ ਬਿਲ ਐਜ ਯੂ ਆਲ نو ਐਂਡ ਦ ਸੈਨੇਟ ਸਟਿਲ ਹੈਸ ਟਾਈਮ ਟੂ ਪਾਸ ਇਟ ਟੁਡੇ ਐਂਡ ਥੇਰ ਇਜ਼ ਨੋ ਰੀਜ਼ਨ ਫੋਰ ਇਟ ਟੂ ਨਾਟ ਮੂਵ ਫੋਰਵਰਡ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਨਾਟ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਥਿਸ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੀਡੈਂਟ ਇਟਸ ਨਾਟ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਵਾਈਟ ਹਾਊਸ ਇਟਸ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਅਮਰੀਕਨ ਪੀਪਲ ਵੀਵ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਸੈਡ ਥੈਟ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮਸ ਥੈਟ ਅਮਰੀਕਨ ਫੈਮਿਲੀਜ਼ ਨੀਡ ਐਂਡ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਵੀ ਸ਼ੁਡ ਬੀ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਅਵੋਇਡ ਅ ਪਾਰਸ਼ਲ ਫਟ ਸ਼ਟਡਾਊਨ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਪੋਸੀਬਲ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਸੋ ਐਂਡ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਸੀ ਦ ਸੈਨੇਟ ਮੂਵ ਕੁਇਕਲੀ ਔਨ ਥਿਸ I have not spoken to the president about that video. Uh what I can say uh is this. Uh you know, I really truly believe that's a question for uh you know, the Republican governor of Texas, right? This is this is something that he should address, that he should actually speak to. The president has worked with Congress in the Senate as I just spoke to about getting uh, an immigration bill done uh, making sure that uh, making sure that we deal with the border challenges uh, that we see uh, that we're now seeing and you have a a a governor of Texas who has continued to politicize this. I do want to say we are grateful uh, for the border patrol's quick work uh, to get the situation under control and apprehend the migrants. So that's important, but congressional Republicans need to move on this. What they're doing instead, uh, and this is the bipartisan agreement obviously, is listening to the former president, President Trump, tell them not to get involved in moving forward with this bipartisan agreement because of his own personal politics because it will help this president you all reported that it's not coming from us you all reported that and it is unfor- unfortunate that congress republican are not uh, getting on board with what majority of americans care about and you have a governor uh, in 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 texas governor abbot who is continuing to make this make this sadly a dangerous situation a chaotic situation let's not forget who they pass by ਰੂਸ ਦੀ ਰਾਜਧਾਨੀ ਮਾਸਕੋ ਦੇ ਕਨਸਰਟ ਹਾਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋਏ ਅਤਵਾਦੀ ਹਮਲੇ ਵਿੱਚ 40 ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੀ ਮੌਤ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਤੇ 100 ਤੋਂ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਜ਼ਖਮੀ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਰੂਸ ਦੇ ਵਿਦੇਸ਼ ਮੰਤਰਾਲੇ ਨੇ ਇਸ ਹਮਲੇ ਨੂੰ ਅਤਵਾਦੀ ਹਮਲਾ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਤੇ ਕੌਮਾਂਤਰੀ ਭਾਈਚਾਰੇ ਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਕਿਨੌਣੇ ਅਪਰਾਧ ਦੀ ਨਿੰਦਿਆ ਕਰਨ ਦੀ ਅਪੀਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਹਾਲਾਂਕਿ ਅਜੇ ਤੱਕ ਕਿਸੇ ਸੰਗਠਨ ਨੇ ਇਸ ਹਮਲੇ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਮੇਵਾਰੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਲਈ ਰੂਸ ਅਤੇ ਯੂਕਰੇਨ ਵਿਚਾਲੇ 2 ਸਾਲਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਧ ਸਮਾਂ ਹੋ ਚੁੱਕਿਆ ਹੈ ਜੰਗ
our hearts go out to all the families of those civilians who were killed and we're praying for a quick recovery for those who are wounded by these attacks. They demonstrate once again, the attacks do, how vital it is that we continue to provide Ukraine with air defense systems and capabilities, interceptor missiles, the tools that they need to protect themselves and their infrastructure. Mr. Putin's not waiting. He's not sitting on his hands. He's making lethal use of every single minute available to him while our own Congress refuses to act. He's not wavering, neither should we. The House of Representatives must pass the National Security Supplemental as soon as possible so that we can provide Ukraine with this vital equipment. And as we've seen in just the last couple of days, every single day the House delays is another day that the Ukrainians have to pay for it with their own blood. Now also today, the United States put forward a resolution at the UN Security Council that supported ongoing diplomatic efforts aimed at securing an immediate ceasefire in Gaza as part of a hostage deal. Notably, the resolution condemned Hamas for the October 7th attacks, which we believe is long overdue, blaming Hamas, condemning Hamas, especially in light of the UN's recent report confirming that Hamas engaged in conflict-related sexual violence. This was a balanced, timely text and it is in line with our long-standing calls for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza over a period of at least six weeks as part of a hostage deal. Nothing new there. The vast majority of the Council voted in favor of the resolution, some 11 other nations. Unfortunately, Russia and China vetoed it. That was hardly a surprise. They'd rather shoot down something that we authored simply because we authored it, rather than consider the strength of what it called for with overwhelming Council support. And what did it call for? An immediate ceasefire. अमरीका के विदेश मंत्री एंटनी बलिंकन इजराइल और हमास के विचाले जंग की शुरुआत तो बाद इस खेत्र के अपने छेवें जरूरी दौरे के हिस्से वजो इजराइल के शहर टेल अवीव पहुंचे बलिंकन का कहना है कि इजराइल के प्रधानमंत्री बेंजामिन नितिन याहू और उन्होंने मंत्री मंडल के मुलाकात दौरान वह दखनी गाजा शहर रफा के इजराइल के योजनाबद्ध जमीनी हमले की जानकारी सजा कर बलिंकन अरब नेताव ने वीरवार जंगबंदी के यत्न गाजा के संघर्ष तो बाद भविख बारे चर्चा की बलिंगन ने कहा है कि इजरायली अधिकारियों के ना गलबात दौरान उन्होंने गाजा के लोगों मानवतावादी सहायता की जो मात्रा है वधा उसू कायम रखने बारे भी चर्चा की है get down to uh, the last items, they, they tend to be the hardest. So there's still a lot of work to be done, hard work to be done, but we're determined to try to get it done. We also talked about the imperative of surging and sustaining humanitarian assistance for the people in Gaza. A hundred percent of the population of Gaza is acutely food insecure. A hundred percent is in need of humanitarian assistance. Uh, there have been some positive steps taken in recent days to improve the situation, but it's not enough. And we talked about what needs to happen uh, to get much more assistance to many more people more effectively. Uh, we also talked about uh, Rafa. We share Israel's goal of defeating Hamas, which is responsible for the worst massacre of the Jewish people since the Holocaust. And we share the goal of ensuring Israel's long-term security. Uh, as we said, though, a major military ground operation in Rafah is not the way to do it. Uh, it risks killing more civilians. It risks uh, wreaking greater havoc with the provision of humanitarian assistance. It risks further isolating Israel uh, around the world and jeopardizing its long-term security and standing. So we're looking forward to having Israeli officials in Washington next week to talk about a different way of achieving these objectives, objectives that we share, of defeating Hamas and ensuring Israel's long-term security. Uh, it really requires an integrated humanitarian, uh, military, and political plan. As I said, we'll be talking about that next week, going through the details of what we see as the best way forward. Uh, we also had an opportunity to talk about the longer-term trajectory, uh, what needs to happen once the conflict in Gaza is over. Uh, 
ਟੈਕਸਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਪ੍ਰੀ ਕਿੰਡਰਗਾਰਡਨ ਦੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਇੱਕ ਸਕੂਲੀ ਬੱਸ ਦੇ ਹਾਦਸਾ ਗ੍ਰਸਤ ਹੋਣ ਦੇ ਕਾਰਨ ਇੱਕ ਵਿਦਿਆਰਥੀ ਸਮੇਤ ਦੋ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੀ ਮੌਤ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਕਈ ਹੋਰ ਲੋਕ ਜ਼ਖਮੀ ਹੋਏ ਨੇ ਟੈਕਸਸ ਦੇ ਜਨਤਕ ਸੁਰੱਖਿਆ ਡਿਪਾਰਟਮੈਂਟ ਦੇ ਸਰਜੈਂਟ ਨੇ ਇੱਕ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਕਾਨਫਰੰਸ ਦੌਰਾਨ ਇਸ ਹਾਦਸੇ ਸੰਬੰਧੀ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਅਧਿਕਾਰੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਜਾਣਕਾਰੀ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਮਰਨ ਵਾਲਿਆਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਲੜਕਾ ਵੀ ਸ਼ਾਮਲ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਬੱਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਫ਼ਰ ਕਰ ਰਿਹਾ ਸੀ ਅਤੇ ਇਸ ਹਾਦਸੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਕ ਸਕੂਲ ਬੱਸ ਇੱਕ ਕੰਕਰੀਟ ਟਰੱਕ ਅਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਯਾਤਰੀ ਵਾਹਨ ਸ਼ਾਮਲ ਹੈ ਸਕੂਲ ਬੱਸ ਸਥਾਨਕ ਸਮੇਂ ਦੇ ਅਨੁਸਾਰ ਦੁਪਹਿਰ 2 ਵਜੇ ਦੇ ਕਰੀਬ ਹਾਈਵੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਪੱਛਮ ਵੱਲ ਜਾ ਰਹੀ ਸੀ ਇਸ ਦੌਰਾਨ ਦੂਜੀ ਦਿਸ਼ਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਇੱਕ ਕੰਕਰੀਟ ਦਾ ਟਰੱਕ ਸਕੂਲ ਬੱਸ ਦੀ ਲੇਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾ ਵੜਿਆ ਜਿਸ ਕਾਰਨ ਇਹ ਭਿਆਨਕ ਹਾਦਸਾ ਵਾਪਰ ਗਿਆ ਦੱਸ ਦਈਏ ਕਿ ਬੱਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ 44 ਵਿਦਿਆਰਥੀ ਅਤੇ 11 ਨੌਜਵਾਨਾਂ ਸਮੇਤ ਕੁੱਲ 55 ਲੋਕ ਸਵਾਰ ਸਨ। We started this morning thinking that uh it was a weekend we were going to have a nice weekend but unfortunately we had a tragic event that happened off of State Highway 21 near Caldwell Road behind me. Apparently there was a school bus traveling with 11 adults and 44 children was traveling to a field trip. Unfortunately that bus was struck by a concrete truck. There was another vehicle behind that bus. As a result of that crash, one child was killed, several injuries in the bus, and the vehicle traveling behind the bus also had a fatality which was a male. Any questions y'all like to ask? Can I know the I don't. I'll have the EMS guy behind you. I have sergeant. I'm sorry. Chief Parker behind me give you that information. But what we have preliminary right now, the investigation seems as though the truck veered into the school bus's lane and struck the school bus. as i said a result of that was one child being deceased several were flown out uh, the ems chief behind me will ever give you those information on how many were taken to the hospital and possibly where they were taken yeah it was still early still early in investigation but uh apparently as soon as they finish up if there's charges to be filed i'll be able to give you that information later what time did this happen so this happened at actually 159 pm as i said the school bus was traveling to a school event actually a, a field trip when the vehicle traveled into the school bus's lane and struck the school bus so the bus was traveling west the, and the could you repeat the first part again i apologize sure this afternoon about 1:59 p.m. the school bus was traveling west on 21 it was struck by a concrete truck traveling the other direction as a result of the crash one child on the school bus was reported deceased and a vehicle following the school bus was also a male was reported deceased do you have a number on service injury I'll be able to get that from Chief Park in just a second. You know if the driver of a cement truck was under the influence of anything? We have no indication at this time if the driver is impaired or anything. What about distracted driving, texting, anything? Like Anything's possible at the time, it's still preliminary, so we'll find out as the investigation goes on. Thanks. I think the big challenge is, is is the road. It's a busy road and we have a large number of people that were involved in the crash. So we had to go through and identify each one of the children, notify parents, the school had to be notified. So Uh shutting down the road was an absolute necessity. Uh it'll be shut down for several more hours as they continue the investigation. Hamilton de vich ik news conference de vich Ontario de Premier Doug Ford ne elan kita hai ki usdi sarkar building faster fund dwara Hamilton nu 17.5 million dollar allot kar rahi hai jo ke shehar de layi 2023 de subai taur utte tay housing tiche nu par karan de layi ik inam hai. हैमिल्टन ने पिछले साल 2023 ਦੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਟੀਚੇ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਧ ਹਾਊਸਿੰਗ ਯੂਨਿਟ ਬਣਾਏ ਨੇ ਫੋਰ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਫੰਡਾਂ ਦੀ ਵਰਤੋਂ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਦੁਆਰਾ ਬੁਨਿਆਦੀ ਢਾਂਚੇ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟਾਂ ਲਈ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈ ਨਾਲ ਹੀ ਇਸ ਮੌਕੇ ਫੋਰ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਹਾਊਸਿੰਗ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਸਟੀਵਨ ਕਲਾਰਕ ਵੀ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਆਇਆ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਥਿਸ ਮੈਨੀ ਹੋਮਸ ਇਟ ਰਿਕੁਆਇਰਸ ਪਾਰਟਨਰਸ਼ਿਪਸ ਵਿਦ ਆਰ ਗ੍ਰੇਟ ਮੇਅਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਕਾਉਂਸਲਰਸ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਨਾਟ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਓਵਰਰਾਈਡ ਮਿਊਨਿਸਪਲ ਪਲੈਨਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਫੋਰਸ 4 6 eight story buildings in the middle of every neighborhood across ontario imagine the disaster with parking on local streets queens park doesn't know best instead i believe in collaboration i believe in working together i believe in setting clear targets and holding municipalities accountable and rewarding them for their success mayors and councillors are developing and implementing the plans they need to build homes the right plans and the right mix of housing types for their communities as they do we're giving municipalities the tools they need to get it done including strong mayor powers and now 3 billion in funding for housing enabling infrastructure fund as we announced yesterday we're going to continue to be here to support our amazing mayors and councillors as they get shovels in the ground to build more homes that's because municipalities know their communities best 
They're the closest to the ground. As I always say, when I mean, you're a counselor, you're a mayor, you're on their front doorstep listening to the people. They know where it makes sense to build homes. They know where it doesn't. And together, we're going to build at least 1.5 million homes. Here in Hamilton, Mayor Horvath and Council are punching above their weight when it comes to housing. Last summer, we introduced the Building Faster Fund. This new fund is a three-year, $1.2 billion program that's rewarding municipalities for the progress they're making against their annual housing targets. And I'm so pleased to say that Hamilton has exceeded its target for 2023, breaking ground on 4,142 no homes. Just think of that, that's over 4,000 families that are gonna have a roof over their head that they might otherwise not have, which is just amazing, that number. So today, I'm pleased to present the City of Hamilton with a Building Faster Fund check for more than $17.5 million. These funds can be used by the City of Hamilton for community development and infrastructure projects that lay the groundwork for more housing. This is such a great accomplishment. I want to congratulate. BC the Witcher Conservative Leader Pierre Poliver de Vallo ek news conference kiti gayi hai jithe Poliver ne Trudeau vallo ek April nu carbon tax de vich kite jaan wale vaade nu leke nishane sade. Poliver ne kiya hai ki April Fool wale din Canada vasiyan naal changa mazak nahi kita ja rahe ha jadon carbon tax te hi percent vad javega. कंजरवेटिव आगू पेरे पॉलीवर ने ऐलान किया है कि जेकर वो प्रधानमंत्री बने तो ट्रूडो दिया इना गलत नीतियां उन खत्म करने के ऐसे नारे पॉलीवर ने देश दी आर्थिकता सुरक्षा अते हाउसिंग वर्ग के मुद्दे नू लाए के भी ट्रूडो नू के रहा and uh, to share our common sense plan to axe the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, stop the crime. Uh, obviously, last night was a terrible, terrible night for Canadians. Uh, after eight years of Trudeau, everything costs more, work doesn't pay, housing costs have doubled, crime, chaos, drugs and disorder are common in our streets. Uh, but we thought that there would be a small, uh, um, a small ray of hope yeah. with members uniting against this terrible April 1st tax increase. Uh, Trudeau wants to hike the carbon tax by 23% on April 1st as part of his plan to quadruple it all the way up to 61 cents a litre. Uh, Canadians cannot afford to pay more in taxes. Uh, and so we put forward a motion uh, asking for all parliamentarians to spike the hike until I can axe the tax. And unfortunately, the NDP, Bloc and Liberals joined together in a carbon tax coalition to raise taxes on Canadians. But so we lost the, the, the battle. To, to, spike, to, to, to spike the hike yesterday, but we're going to win the war yeah. for, for lower right. taxes. Yeah. And when, when I'm Prime Minister, we will axe the tax yeah. altogether. Right. There will be an, a carbon tax election. The next election is a referendum on the carbon tax. That's right. Do you want to raise the tax to 61 cents a litre, or do you want to axe the tax? That's the choice. It's that simple. Um, in the meantime, Canadians are suffering. Uh, we see um, the, the inflationary debts and spending and taxes have driven up costs to the point where 2 million Canadians a month are lined up at food banks. One in 10 Torontonians are eating at a food bank wow. right now. There was a riot at a Montreal food bank because the food ran out and uh, they had to call the police to break up the disruption. And now there's 8,000 people who have joined a Facebook group called the Dumpster Diving Network, wow. where they share tips on how to dump in, jump into a dumpster and get a meal out of it. Wow. It's crazy. Uh, never would we have imagined this before Trudeau. Uh, we now have tent cities in every major center in the country. Uh, some people are even calling them Trudeau towns. Um, <laughs> these homeless encampments everywhere. Canadian Chona de Vichy Videshi Dakal Rukan, Advanced Voting the Din Vodown, Ate Lokan Mulk de Kisevi Hisse Vichu Apani riding the Vichy Vote Pondi Sola Dindahe, Bill House of Commerce, Ate Sunu, Pesh Karditagia. लोकतंत्री संस्थामा बारे मंत्री डोमिनिक लिबलैंक ने दसिया है कि इलेक्शंस एक्ट दे राही जिथे एडवांस वोटिंग दे लिए दो दिन मिलन गए उथे कैनेडियन चोन प्रक्रिया विदेशी दखल तो मुक्त रखया जा सकेगा जगमीत सिंह दी अगवाई वाली एनडीपी दे नाल सलाह मशवरा करके लेंदे गए चोन सुधार बिल दे राही लॉन्ग टर्म केयर होम्स दे विच रहंदे बुजुर्गा नु वोट पाउन ली बाहर जान दी जरूरत नहीं पवेगी अते डाक राही वोट पाउन दी प्रक्रिया विच होर सुधार किते जा रहे ने 
ਡੋਮਿਨਿਕ ਲਿਬਲੈਂਕ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਲੋਕ ਸੁਰੱਖਿਆ ਮੰਤਰਾਲੇ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਮੇਵਾਰੀ ਵੀ ਹੈ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਐਨਡੀਪੀ ਦੇ ਸੁਝਾਵਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਬਿੱਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸ਼ਾਮਲ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ I was pleased to introduce uh, in the House of Commons a set of amendments to the Canada Elections Act which will enhance Canadians ability to exercise their right to vote while strengthening protections against foreign interference in our elections. Uh, as you will know, this bill stems from the supply and confidence agreement uh, we struck with our NDP partners, Mr. Singh and the Prime Minister, uh, in signing this agreement, made commitments uh, to make it easier for Canadians to vote in a federal election. And as I said, it was a privilege for me to work these last number of months with an outstanding parliamentarian with Daniel Blakey uh and uh I very much look forward to continuing uh, this work with his NDP colleagues as well. Uh the Prime Minister and Mr Singh committed to expand options Canadians currently have to cast their ballots uh, and this bill seeks amongst other measures to add two more days of advanced voting to make the vote on campus program permanent and take steps towards voting at any polling station in a voter's riding. The bill also proposes to offer dedicated on-site voting for voters living in long-term care homes and enhancements as well to the increasingly popular and accessible vote by mail process. Canada has one of the most resilient democracies in the world and that is no small part due to our world-class electoral system which seeks to make it easier and intuitive to vote. Voting is a fundamental right in Canada and our government will work with parliamentarians over the coming weeks to ensure that we uphold that right in the best way possible and reinforce the integrity of our electoral system. And as I said, it's a privilege for me now to uh, ask my colleague Daniel Blakey with whom I've had the privilege of working on this particular bill. uh to say a few words and then i can't imagine that we're both not all janyan de ko fir to nazar marde ha surkhiyan utte shutdown to ek baar fir bache america shutdown nu talan de layi ameriki senate ne 1.2 trillion dollar de package wale bill nu ditti manzoori ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਨੇ ਮਾਸਕੋ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋਏ ਅਤਵਾਦੀ ਹਮਲੇ ਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਡਰਾਉਣ ਕਿਹਾ ਇਸ ਹਮਲੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਯੂਕਰੇਨ ਦੀ ਸ਼ਮੂਲੀਅਤ ਦੇ ਕੋਈ ਸੰਕੇਤ ਨਹੀਂ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਦੇ ਟੈਕਸਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਭਿਆਨਕ ਸੜਕ ਹਾਦਸਾ 40 ਤੋਂ ਵੱਧ ਵਿਦਿਆਰਥੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਭਰੀ ਸਕੂਲ ਬੱਸ ਹੋਈ ਹਾਦਸਾ ਗ੍ਰਸਤ ਦੋ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੀ ਮੌਕੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਹੋਈ ਮੌਤ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਫਾਸਟਰ ਫੰਡ ਦੁਆਰਾ ਹਮਿਲਟਨ ਨੂੰ 17.5 ਮਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਾਲਰ ਦਾ ਫੰਡ ਅਲਾਟ ਕਰੇਗੀ ਓਨਟਾਰੀਓ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਪ੍ਰੀਮੀਅਰ ਡਕ ਫੋਰ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਐਲਾਨ ਸੋ ਫਿਲਹਾਲ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਨਾਰਥ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਹੀਂ ਤੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਇਜਾਜ਼